Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salam ala Muhammad ala ba'du Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh What do you want for Christmas? What do you want for Christmas? You spend, spend, spend and you spend time, time, time shopping, shopping, shopping. You spend hours deciding on what you want to buy. You decide what you want. You spend hours, 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 hours trying to find things, things, things. But you don't spend any time trying to determine what is the purpose of your life here. The things that we buy will become nothing. They will rust. They will fall apart. Your kids will grow out of them. Your kids, kids will grow and they will leave the house. And what can we say to them? What is the purpose of your life? What is your purpose of your life? One more Christmas goes by. Another Christmas goes by. We might not have another one. What is the message of Islam? What is the message of Islam? La ilaha illallah. God is one. Jesus, peace be upon him, is a messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That Jesus is a messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That Allah created the universe, created everything in the universe. Everything is a creation of God Almighty. You are. The rocks are, the sun is, the, the universe, the solar system, everything is a creation. Therefore, there has to be a creator. And as something becomes more complex, more complex, the likelihood of a, an intelligent creator becomes increasing. So if you saw four pencils lined up, perfectly in order, you would naturally assume that somebody had placed them on the table. If you see them lying crazily, you know, maybe somebody just dropped them there, but if they're lined up perfectly, just even six, six pencils, just six pencils on a desk. You come into the desk, you look at six pencils, six simple pencils sitting there, lined up perfectly. Everything is in order. Just six pencils. What are you going to think? What are you going to think? Somebody placed them there. And we cannot see in our eyes using our intellect the wonderment of the creation and we cannot come to a conclusion that there is a creator? I don't understand. Six pencils. You roll, uh, roll dice. And you get a hundred times you get one. You're gonna think something's wrong. Something's wrong with the dice. They're low, they're you know got a, a weight on them or something. You know that there's been some some something done to them. Something done to it. And you can't see how the penguin protects the egg, the male for four months. And there's not a creator. You can't see how the honeybee pollinates the creation and brings honey, makes more honey than the honeybee needs. And, it, and, it, and it's, a, it's, a, it's good for, for the human being to eat. You can't see all the blessings that we've been given and we don't pay proper thanks to the Creator. Six pencils lined up on a desk. There has to be an intelligent uh, interaction there to have that happen. But yet the universe works in all perfection and we deny the fact that there's a creator? I don't think so. There is a creator and there is revelation. It's called the Quran. Have a look and read and you'll see scientific proof. I became Muslim myself because I could not deny the truth. So maybe this video has got you to think. You spend more time thinking about buying a pair of jeans, test driving a car, determining 
what pair of shoes you're going to wear out on a Friday night than you do thinking about what the purpose of your life is. Days are ticking, time goes on. When are you going to start to think about it? When are you going to think about it? I think now there is a God. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Jesus, peace be upon him, is a prophet of Allah. We're children of Adam, we're children of Eve. We believe in all the prophets, we believe in angels. We believe that there is unseen things. None have seen the glory of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but we can know him by his attributes around us in the creation, the mercy that is shown to us. The, the, the way it all works in, in harmony. And we have been given freedom of choice as human beings. And that's your, you know, you've been given freedom of choice. If you want to deny, that's your choice. But if you want to take one step towards truth, then investigate Islam. And don't investigate Islam through CNN, Fox News. Investigate uh, Islam with your own eyes and open the, the book, the revealed book to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Open up the Quran and read it. Don't go by what people say is in it. Read it yourself. And inshallah, you'll be guided as it is the truth. Your heart will resonate towards it. But read it. You spend time investigating, uh, like I say, car, car, what movie you're going to rent tonight. But you leave your own spiritual guidance, your own spiritual journey to someone else? Inshallah, I, I pray that you're guided, I pray that you open up your mind and you, you actually investigate something for yourself. And don't rely on anyone else to do that. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Which means may the peace and blessings, mercy of God Almighty, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be with you.